Hello everybody, welcome to our e-learning session, 4, 5, and 4. Today our lesson about the story, chapter 4. And we stop when the Christmas, the past Christmas spirit came and took Scrooge to see his past events on his past Christmas days, what happened in the last, when he was a child and when he, when he was a young man. In this chapter, we will continue our journey with the past Christmas story. Let's see when they change the scene, what happened. Now the scene is different. He took him to a court and there was a lady sitting with a, with a, young, with a young man in the court. And the lady was very sad and with tears in her eyes. Now what, what was this lady is called Bella. Bella is his first love and she was crying all the time because Mr. Scrooge after a long story, a long love story, he decided that she is a, a poor woman and he will not marry her. She is not able to marry him because he, he started to be a little bit rich. Let's see what's written in slide number two. The first spirit took Scrooge to another business, the part where the the old, old Scrooge sitting in the side pretty woman. This woman was crying. The pretty girl then told Scrooge that he loved money more than he loved her. And this is true. And she told him that he changed. And actually, now he didn't want, he didn't want to marry a poor woman like her. He is dreaming to marry a woman from the rich level. And let's see what's going on. These words were, were, were very sad. And she told she told him that she's crying and she loves him so much. But actually, Scrooge said that I love you, I love you, but he didn't mean that. Let's see what happened in slide number three. Scrooge felt sad from these moments as he loved them, but he didn't want to marry such a poor girl. And then what happened? After that, Scrooge told the uh, spirit that he doesn't want to see that. And he said these words in a very broken sound, a broken, broken voice. Let's see, slide number three. After that, the spirit showed him how happy Bella became in her life. The scene changed and Mr. Scrooge went with the spirit to Bella's house with her children and her husband and the scene became that her husband came to uh, from the door the children were happy and they were jumping and playing around it's a happy scene her life is very good and full of happiness her husband told her that i saw an old friend of you and she said who is that friend mr scrooge he said exactly this was seven years ago at the time when, when Marty was about to die. So her husband told her that her, uh, Marty, his partner, is about to die. He is dying. And Marty died, oh, he will be, Scrooge will be all alone with no friends, no family, nothing. And she was very sad about him. Scrooge was sad and was heartbroken. And he told uh, the spirit that he doesn't want to see these scenes. But the spirit said, it's not my fault, don't blame me. This is what already had happened. Okay, now Scrooge was, what Scrooge was sad? Because, yes, exactly, he loved Bella, but also he doesn't want to marry her because she was a poor girl. And because in comparison with her happy, nice and loving life. His life was dull and he was all alone with no friends, no family, no children, no nothing. Just a sad, dull life. Okay, let's continue. In slide number four, her husband, as I said before, her husband was carrying Christmas presents for his children and Bella's husband told her that he saw her old friends to working alone. And Scrooge was very sad and he wanted to leave because he felt sorry for losing his old love and also, as I said before, because he's comparing 
his sad life or her happy, decent life. In slide number five, he will start the questions. Let's see. Who was Bella? Bella was old, but it was too huge. What did Bella's husband see that night? Bella's husband saw Mr. Scrooge working all alone on Christmas Eve and he seems to that he has no one with him and he has nothing, nowhere to go with. You love money more than me. Who said these words? Commanded. These words were said by Bella to Mr. Scrooge when she met, when she met him in the park and told him that he wanted to visit a rich woman and to marry a rich woman, not such a poor one like her. In the last slide here, slide number six, I saw him. He was still working all alone in Christmas Day. Who said these words? Who saw, who, who saw Scrooge working exactly? Bella's husband. So these words were said by Bella's husband to Bella when he passed by Scrooge's office and saw him alone in Christmas, no friends or family around him. Now all this happened, this scene of Bella's husband and, and Bella and the children happened seven years ago. The same time while Marty was dying. Okay? Keep this in your mind. Now for the complete, Bella's children were playing and laughing. Scrooge didn't marry Bella. Why? Because she was a poor girl and he wants to, to marry a rich woman. And that's the end of our chapter. Hope you enjoyed.